Our latching system consists of an L bracket that latches to a standard screen door lock. The door lock is pulled open by high strength fishing line connected to a servo. The jack will pop open at any random time between 5 and 10 seconds from the first button press. To make our jack pop out with force, two springs were stacked on small PVC pipe, attached to the lid, and are compressed once the lid is closed. Our cranking mechanism uses a four-lobed cam which depresses a momentary limit switch. The time between switch presses determines the speed at which our custom music will play. The outside of the box was hand sanded, then decoupaged using stock images found on the internet. After adding some caution tape and a few coats of polyurethane, we were left with a very professional and scary look. Inside the jack there are four servos. One for the mouth, one for each eye, and one for the knife arm. The neck is rotated using a stepper motor. The balloon is blown up from a diaphragm pump. The lightning strikes behind the jack are made using three ultra-high brightness LEDs. The jack has five different plays consisting of the actions being coordinated with custom music and sounds. Although there are five different plays, there is no set order for when they will appear. The Arduino selects a play based on a random number generator. This random number then chooses a play based on a case statement. After the jack has finished its actions, the Arduino saves the number of the last play chosen to be sure it will not be immediately repeated. First up is our Arduino and MP3 shield. These are the brains behind our entire jack-in-the-box. Together, they control six servos, a stepper motor, six different songs or plays, and the diaphragm pump for the balloon. Next up is the relay for the stepper motor, which is connected to the control board for the motor located here. Our input voltage is 12 volts at 10 amps, which is fed to our 12 volt terminal bar. Our 6 volt terminal bar is located here and is fed by this 12 to 6 volt DC to DC converter. On this side, we have our speaker board, which feeds two relays one for each speaker. These relays feed the speaker terminal bar. The last component seen here is the diaphragm pump, which pumps up the die balloon on the dowel.